Welcome. In this short tutorial, we're going to cover how to easily and quickly customize Log10 Pro for Mac. Start by selecting Preferences from the Log10 Pro menu. The General tab allows you to specify a typical role as a starting point. Select the role which most closely matches the kind of flying you're doing. This will pre-configure Log10 Pro to include the most common fields for this role. From here, you can further customize the fields you want to show or have hidden. But before we do that, let's review the remaining options on the General tab. Flight Time Format allows you to select the time display in hours and minutes or decimal presentation. Show Calendar Groups allows you to specify how many year groups are shown under the All Entries group on the left of the Logbook tab. Showing Months will also break up the flights by month for each year. Selecting the All Dates and Times or Zulu checkbox allows you to specify whether your dates and times are entered in Zulu, local, or a specific time zone of your choosing. We suggest you use either Zulu or local and let Log10 Pro figure out the appropriate time zone based on your from and to airports. Only in rare cases, such as if your company requires you to log all flights in central time, would you really need to specify a fixed time zone. To reduce confusion, if you're syncing with another iOS device or a Mac, set your other copies of Log10 Pro to the same setting. You can also specify how total time is calculated. Total time can be calculated from out in, Hobbs, TAC, Taxi Start Stop, or Off On. You may also specify a percentage to adjust the total time. This is useful in the cases of aircraft with no Hobbs meter so that a percentage can be applied to TAC instead. This also is useful for military pilots who want to do a conversion for civilian work. You can also specify your display preferences to set how you want your data formatted, such as how your places, aircraft, and people are displayed. The remainder of the preference tabs are the categories of fields available to you. Those categories are flight, time, duty, people, landings, operations, notes, sync, and notifications. In this video, we'll highlight a few of the options to give you a good grounding in how all the Preference tabs work. Under the Preferences Time tab, you'll see all the kinds of time you're able to log. You'll also see a second checkbox under most of these fields entitled Auto Fill Total Time. Setting up Auto Fill Times will reduce the time it takes to enter a flight. For example, if you know that the majority of your flying is all PIC, cross country, and dual given, you can set these fields to On. Then, for each flight, the value for total time is automatically populated into those fields for you. Night time is somewhat special. If you select Calculate from Out In, then Log10 Pro will automatically figure out how much of the flight was night. This option requires that you use Out In to calculate your total time, and that you use places with latitude longitude information. The Time tab is also where you would reveal special times by engine type, category, and class to be displayed in the Table View of the Logbook tab. For example, if you're interested in seeing your turbine, airplane, or single-engine land time, you could tick the appropriate checkboxes in the Advanced section. These values are always automatically calculated based on the aircraft type selected for the flight, so there's no need to enter values in them. Alternatively, you can also create smart groups to show things like total turbine or tailwheel time. We recommend you go through each of the preference sections and familiarize yourself with the options. Log10 Pro is fairly extensive and the need for custom fields is rare, but if you want to track something not covered, there are custom fields for you to use. Ticking any of the checkboxes will turn on the field in both the table view and the flight details of the logbook tab. Once you've selected the fields you wish to use, you can organize the columns simply by clicking and dragging column titles into the order of your choosing. As you do, note that the order of your flight details is also updated. You can arrange the table view to match the column order to be the same as a paper logbook for completing data entry from a past logbook, for example, or you can arrange the columns such that the flight details are in the order you prefer. Data entry can be done from either the table view or the flight details view. Of course, if you have any questions about customizing Log10 Pro to your needs, or indeed any other feature of Log10 Pro, you can contact our fantastic support team direct from Log10 Pro by clicking Help, then Contact Support. Thanks for watching.